Ni hao. In the previous video, we discussed that NAND and NOR gates are universal because they can be used to produce any logic statement. We then showed the logic gate layouts to accomplish the other basic operations. We will be using this conversion key in this video as we build an entire circuit out of NAND gates. The procedure for doing so is shown here. First, we will draw a logic circuit using the same gates that we have been using, AND, OR, and NOT. Then, we will replace each gate in that diagram with its all NAND equivalent by applying our conversion key. Finally, if possible, we will simplify by canceling out double NOT gates. Let's see this procedure done given this Boolean equation. Step 1 is completed, showing the logic circuit made with AND, OR, and NOT gates. We now move on to step 2, which involves replacing each gate with its all NAND equivalent. This is akin to traditional algebraic substitution, where we can replace individual variables with entire expressions, as long as they are equivalent. But here, instead of letters, the things being substituted are gate schematics. To remind us of the pertinent substitutions, I've copied over a part of the conversion key. So, looking at this original circuit, we see an AND gate. This needs to be replaced by this setup, a NAND followed by a NOT. Thus, these new gates in the next circuit. In the middle, we see an OR gate. This needs to be replaced by this setup, individual NOTs followed by a NAND. And you can see the results in the next circuit. This pattern is repeated for the other AND and OR gates in the original circuit. It doesn't even matter which order you do these in, since each substitution works as its own separate change. Wait a sec. This should be an all NAND circuit, but there are several NOT gates here. This issue was discussed at length last video. The brief summary is this. On the circuit diagram, we leave those drawn as NOT gates because it makes the operation clear. But if physically wiring, we can easily make a NOT gate out of a NAND gate. This last step emphasizes why we leave them drawn as NOT gates. Any place where a NOT is followed immediately by a NOT, those operations cancel each other out so we can eliminate both gates. In this middle circuit, there is a double knot up top. There is another double knot at the left. And the last one is tricky. There is another double knot along this bottom wire. After removing all of those, we are left with this final circuit. This approach looks very abstract at first, but it is straightforward after a little practice. So I want you to pause the video and attempt the example problem shown here. Give yourself some space on your paper because you do need to draw three circuits. Okay, I hope you gave it a good effort. Here is my approach. First, I drew the given logic using only NOT, AND, and OR gates. This OR gate provides B or C prime. This AND gate provides A, B prime. This OR gate sums those terms together. And this NOT gate does the final complementing outside the parentheses. Next, I substituted in the NAND equivalents for each AND and OR gate. You can see this AND gate replaced with two gates. This OR gate replaced with three gates. And the same pattern applied for this last OR gate. Now, do I see any double knots? Yes, I do. There is one set here in the middle and another set in the lower left. This results in the final circuit shown below. I suppose I have a little redundancy here on the B wire. A NOT gate could be placed before the branch rather than using two separate NOT gates. But is this correct? Does the final circuit truly match the given logic equation? Let's do a little analysis. The output of this first NAND gate is A B prime quantity prime. The next NAND gate gives us B prime C quantity prime. This NOT gate gets rid of the prime from the incoming expression. 
then this final nan plus not function as an and gate. So this final expression ands the two input terms. Hmm, the circuit output doesn't seem to match with the given equation. They might actually be equivalent, but right now we are comparing apples to oranges. So let's break down each equation into a standard form. The Boolean algebra steps are shown here. At the end, we see that both the equation and the circuit output tell us R equals A prime B prime C. And thus, we have algebraic proof that they are equivalent. We've said before in this course that there are many ways of expressing logic. Even within the domain of logic circuits, there are several options. An all NAND circuit is one standard option, and now you have the skills to build it.